hello wonderful people welcome back to my channel in today's tutorial we are going to be making a nice shaped gown with organza sleeve and i will make use of this lace please if you are here to subscribe kindly touch on the subscribe button to subscribe and also click on the notification bell to be the first to be notified whenever i upload new video so for this i will cut the front part first before cutting the back part so i will use satin as the lining So I'll use this satin as the lining and organza for the sleeve. So I will start my measurement from here. So for this gun, I'm not going to fold the hemline. So here is. 42 inches so that means my measurement so that means my measurement will start from here so this gun i'm not going to add folding allowance at the same length I mark out shoulder to bus measurement 12 inches, shoulder to half length measurement 16 inches, from half length to hip length measurement 9 inches, I mark this out. Take shoulder measurement, divide by two, and the shoulder is 16 inches, divide by two, will give us eight inches. I mark three inches for shoulder slope, measure one inch here for shoulder slope. So, from this shoulder slope, I will take Ample measurement 18 inches divided by 2 will give us 9 inches. Mark a straight line from shoulder to ample. Bust measurement is 44 inches divided by 4 will give us 11 inches. I'll add 1 inch for ease and 2 inches for similar one. This 1 inch is for a bust measurement. Waist measurement is 39 inches divided by 4 will give us 9.7. For this waist measurement, I will add one and a half inches for ease and two inches for seam allowance. Hip measurement is 50 inches divided by four will give us 12.5. 12, 12 
at this hip measurement, I will add two inches for ease and two inches again for same allowance. So I will connect from bust to waist measurement down to hip measurement. So I will mark this to hemline. So for the neckline, I will use 4 inches for the front neckline. So I will still maintain these 3 inches for the width. So this is for neckline. I will go ahead and cut this out. So this is for the front part. I will use this still fold my fabric into two and cut out the back side. So for this back side, I will include deep allowance of one and a half inches. So I've marked out zip allowance of one and a half inches. So I'll get this front pass, place it on top of this. When you the wear black and white, you go see, you know that they carry concrete that time. You know how many concrete? So for the back neckline, I will use two inches instead of four inches that I use for the front. Instead of four inches that I use for the front back. For the front part so here i will measure two inches so connect it from this so i will go ahead and cut this out Cut out neckline. So this is it. I will use this now to cut out the satin that we use for the lining. The next thing I will cut out the sleeve. So for the sleeve, I will still fold into two. This is where my sleeve measurement will start from. So I'll take cap height four and a half inches. I'll take sleeve length like seventeen inches. I'll add one inch for folding allowance, making it eighteen inches. The round sleeve that I'm working with is eighteen inches divided by two will give us nine inches so add seam allowance
So this is for one sleeve. I will use this now to cut out the second sleeve. So before that, I will determine where I will start. Attaching the organza. I think 12 inches is okay. So I will notch it also. Then use this to cut out the second. We are finished turning the next with satin. And for the front part, I didn't turn the neckline. I only turned the back neckline with satin. So this is the sleeve. This is the other sleeve. The organza part. So to achieve this organza part, this is where I notch earlier. But I will use my ruler mark a straight line. This is where I notch. It will be into five. I'll mark another one, the second line. This is the third line. The fourth line. And the fifth line. So for the organza, I cut out four inches. When you fold it into two, it will give two inches. So that is what I have here. So for the first, for the first line, I will first of all stitch it like this. It will be a kissing plate. So after stitching it, I will turn it over like this and stop stitch on top before the second line. The second line, I will place the organza like this. So after that, I will have this. So I top stitch on top of this. So for the front neckline, I will measure out the front neckline. This is 12 inches. So these 12 inches, I will divide it by 6.28. 12 inches divided by 6.28 will give us 1.91. So first I will fold this satin into two. Fold it again, making it into four. So starting from this edge, I will measure out 1.9.
So now I will determine the length of the collar that I want. So I'll use three inches and half inches for same allowance. So here I'll measure out three and a half inches. this out. Open up one side. So this is what I'll have. So I'll use this now to cut the lining. So I'll cut out the lining. So I'll go ahead and line this. This is it. So next thing I have to do is to join the two shoulders, insert the and Close it up with body measurement, divide by two. So now I'll close the two side up with. I will close the two side up with body measurement, divide by two. I'm dividing the body measurement by two. That's both divided by two, waist divided by two, and hip divided by two. Also add is So I'll go ahead and close this up and also this is This is it. So 
So when you are fixing this color, you fix it, place the color on the wrong side. After that, you turn it over and top stitch. That is what I did. Let's go. Oh. 